little project I'm working on. It was a Lightning McQueen uh, CRT DVD combo. His mouth opened up as the DVD player. Of course, this was dead. Uh, housing was missing. I just covered up with some red paper. Gutted it. 12 inch screen from Amazon. The sound was not good, so I installed. Let's see if I can get it down there. A little amp board to the factory speakers, which are actually kind of cool in these tires. I'll add it more later if I want them to uh, sound better. They're not the best. Uh, screen didn't have a remote or on off switch that was accessible once I mounted it because they're on the back. So I added a push button for the uh, USB power. It's got an Amazon Fire 4K, which will stay on all the time. Just, you know, it'll go to sleep. And the remote will work fine for that. And I just got a junky old USB hub powering it all. And then the white plug is to power the amp board. I forget, it's like 12 or 15 volts old power plug from something. So I'll just close her back up in this, uh, there's a little fender, in this uh, TV setup. And then have a neat looking Android smart TV basically that uh, matches the daughter stuff. She loves McQueen. Oh, and uh, the Amazon Fire remote, the current version has a uh, universal for volume. Of course, this monitor, the volume is on the back. So the amp board has a knob. So I just poked it out right here. Not like you'll have to change the volume a whole lot. Oh, and then I added a extension to the 4K Amazon to put a USB port in the front so you could stab it in there and do music or movies or whatever. But, uh, yeah, should be pretty cool. Daughter will love it, I'm sure. Okay, here it is all assembled. I'll call it mostly complete. Got all the, or most of the screws back in. Here's my on-off switch for the monitor. I use the regular plug and then just put a house plug inside there that I plug my power supplies into. Works close enough, right? I use paper, like I was saying in another, the previous clip, here, here, and then the back to cover up the gap, just black, you know. So I'll turn this on, it's already plugged in. There we go. I guess the fire wasn't asleep. What if I go down here, just play something, just so you can hear the speakers. They're not the best, but for a kid's room, they're good enough. There you go. Uh, if you found this video and you got one of these and you're trying to fix it, a few disassembly tips. To get this to split, you have to take the fender off. To get the fender off, you have to take the tire off. To get the tire off, you have to take some of these hubcap lug nut covers, whatever, and find this one with the screw to pull the red piece off. And then under the red piece is some screws to pull the tire off. Then once you get the tire off, there's a bracket here behind the tire and a bracket here behind the tire that have some screws to pull off. Then this will just pop off via clips. Same for the other side. The spoiler you don't have to take off. I broke it so it's on there with double-sided tape. It's in there with some weird slotted, yeah, I can't really push it one way or the other, I don't remember. And then once you get the fender off, there's some screws here. I think there's three, if I remember right. And then some up here. And there might even be some on the bottom, I don't remember. And then you can separate this back and the TV and the DVD player and all that stuff stay attached to the front. The speakers are in here, so don't poke nothing in there. Uh, I've read a forum and they were misinformed. You don't have to take this off. Mine broke also. It's just glued back on. We don't have to mess with any of this. The screws are actually, like I said, under here after you take the fender off. So I hope that helps. 
I'll put some uh, links in the description of stuff I use, so it'll give you some ideas. Thanks.